This video will show you how to copy a course from one semester to the next. We're going to go to courses and find the newest course that we want to pull content into. So we're going to actually go to the fall shell. This will be our empty shell. There's nothing in it, no modules or anything. So we're going to scroll down to settings, click on settings, and then we're going to come over here to import content into this course. We're going to click on that. And then we are going to select from the drop down menu, copy a Canvas course. We are going to find, this is my dummy course, Empty Test Shell Spring 16A, which has all of my course content. We are going to select all content. You can select specific content if you want to choose just certain pages or modules. Um, we're going to click the adjust events and due dates. This is the magic of Canvas. And we're going to shift dates. We're going to put the beginning date of the course that we're copying from, which was spring. So we'll just say that was January 18th. I think it's actually the 19th. And it changes to the beginning date of this next semester. We'll say it's the 22nd, August the 22nd. Oop. Go to 2016. Make sure you get your years right. You don't want to um, mess that up. So we're going to say August 22nd is the start date. The ending date of the spring semester was May the 6th. And then the ending date will be December 4th. So now that we've got our dates correct, we're going to click Import. And you just wait until it goes from running to completed. And once it goes from running to completed, you go through and check to make sure that everything copied over correctly. I'm going to show you a really neat little trick once this um, finishes running. Once the import has completed, you will see a completed um, status here. So we can go to modules and see that our modules are here. Um, any dates that need to be changed that you happen to type in, remember to type, uh, remember to edit those and all you have to do is click edit and change your dates. That kind of thing. Just update that. Now here's a really good tool in the settings area, validate links in content. This will this is something that you should do after you copy a course. You should click the validate links in content. You click the start link validator and it will end up you can actually click on the links that they say may have some issues and you can change them out. So this and going through your course in student view are very important after you complete the import process. Thanks for watching.